This is Doug here. Sitting here working on my old 83 Wagoneer. Trying to get the ignition out. GMs, they've got themselves a little screw right here, usually. Which you take out, comes out. Well, maybe that's on some of the newer stuff. Had drilled this hole out here because I was looking everywhere. They're like, oh, just remove the flashing over. Just do some poking and prodding around about the 130 spot. Well, I thought that was here and I thought maybe something was goofy and I couldn't couldn't reach in there to pop up the the piece. Well, that wasn't the case. I did some more poking and prodding around, but too bad it was already after I drilled the hole. At least nobody else will see the hole. Right over here. Right up and down by this up and down piece. See the little screw hole up there? It's right here. Right there. You got to poke right in there. And it pops it out. You got to find yourself a small little screwdriver or piece of metal. There you go. Comes out just like that. Let me put it back in. Just give her a little hit. And she locks now right in. A little. You got this heavy duty silicone lubricant right here. I love using that on ignitions and stuff. Usually ungums them pretty darn good. It's everything moving nice and freely and unsticky. There we go, nice and smooth. Just like she should be. Now we can put everything back together here. You guys didn't see it come apart, but. See if I can get her back into place here. The wires are trying to fight themselves. I have my glove box cleaned apart up here. Kind of a nice, nice place to put the tools. There's the bolts and nuts and stuff when I took them out. She have everything lined up here. This one right here, you gotta give her a little push down to get her to go right. I probably should have taken this piece out here. Looks like she's getting pretty darn fragile. You can take, they say you can take plastic pieces like that and boil them in some, in some water and they fix themselves, but I don't know. I've never had a chance to try it yet. Get the blinker switch in here. There we go. Everything moves nice and smooth. Probably gonna have to find another one of these. They don't like the way it's cracked there. There we go. You can see there's this little brass con contact ring around here. And that's what connects the horn up. When it swivels around, put that downward. Hmm. This thing's just being stubborn. Oh, uh, there we go. Probably spray a little bit of this on there, might make life a little easier for me. Just a little gummed up.
they make a tool for this I don't know I've never used it probably would make things a little bit simpler spall mark on there. Time to find a file. Somewhere here I got a smaller file but this one was nice and handy. There we go. Get everything all pushed back in here. There she is, snapped back into place. A little deal for the hazards. Screws in right down here. There we go. Put the steering wheel back on. Got this piece for the horn here, but I don't know. You should make sure you know which way is right side which. My steering wheel is probably going to be crooked now. Because, well, let's see here. There we go. Got my wheels straight. It's always a nice thing to have done. There we go. Put this in here. Tighten it down, then you take your piece here, I like to put a lot of the screws back in, put that like that, tighten it down and you're all done, that's all there is to her.